Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is going to be Aegis Wolf for Extra, and today we're going to be reviewing Total Drama Island 2024, the reboot season two. This will be a non-spoiler review, so if, you're not, not, if you have not seen the season, you can watch this video. I'll be going into non-spoilers in this video. Of course, I'll do a spoiler video for those that have seen the season, so check that out. I'll be dropping that tonight, and then hopefully tomorrow I'll do my character rankings sometime in the night. So, um, let's discuss, guys. Let's discuss. This season for me, it is a good season. Let me just start off with saying this. It is a good season. It is a good follow-up from the previous season, you know. But my biggest issue with this season... Well, actually, no. Let me Before before I get into the cons, let me be positive here first. What I like a lot most about this season is that this season gave characters that didn't do so well the first season another opportunity to shine. And I thought that was a very good on the writers to actually have them continue. Because most of the characters... Most of the characters were given very good development here, and it was almost like told them action. You know, action, a lot of characters that didn't do so well the first season were given opportunities here this season, and I really liked that. Um, and I thought it was really cool and interesting. My biggest issue, though, with the season, though, was that this season doesn't really feel much different or significantly different to the first season. Because as much as I say told them action is the same characters everything, it still feels a very much different season. It's not the same season from Total Drama Island. It's very different. It's the action movies, these sequences. You know, you have a different theme. Here, you're still using the island, which I thought that also really bring down the season for me. Because let's say the season took place, I don't know, like, maybe did they do the World Tour thing again. You know, if they did something like that, then I think it would be different. It just feels very similar to the first season, and that's where I have my biggest issues are. And another problem is that a lot of the same characters that did well the first season still did very well here, which is also kind of a little problematic. I'm not going to spoil which characters did very well. You'll have to see for yourself. But a lot of the characters that did so well the first season also did very well here. And I didn't really like that fact. I thought it was kind of a bit too predictable for my liking and everything like that. And the antagonist for the season is pretty much the same as the last season. Pretty much the same as the last season, which I also thought was a bummer. I would like to have seen someone else be an antagonist, you know, not the same person, essentially. You know, that would have been uh, very much more refreshing to see, you know, for a character arc. And a lot of the conflicts that happened in the first season continues here, like Priya and Julia. Um, let's see, what's another one? Uh, Julia and Bowie. And a lot of the friendships continued from this season, from this season, you know. Uh, you know, Julia... I'm oh, sorry, Priya and uh, Millie. That was also a friendship, uh, you know. Uh, Wayne and Raj, you know, etc. The, the list goes on. Like, my biggest problem with this season is that it almost feels like the same season from 23, except you just give characters that didn't do well in 23 another chance. So that's what it basically comes down to at the end of the day. Like I said, it's still a good season. I still did enjoy the season. And like I said, this season is still better uh, then, you know, you're all stars of Hunter Island, I'll probably say. And I am going to be doing a new video, by the way. I'm going to be uh, re-updating that list um, that I made a few years ago where I ranked all the total drama seasons. I will be making that video sometime next week. Stay tuned for that, guys. And I'm going to be spoiling into that one. So, if you, have, you know, I'm going to be including the two new seasons in that two, uh, list. And I'm going to have to think about this where I'm going to place each season respectively. But, yeah, I mean, like I said, guys, I like I, I still did enjoy this season, and I thought this season was great, and I did like what they did in the final. I thought the final was very interesting. They did a um, – I'll just tell you that they basically had three people make the final, which I thought was very interesting. We hadn't seen that before in Total Drama, so that was kind of a cool a little arc change, um, which I thought was nice and everything. So that that's pretty much my talk and takeaways from the season, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little review. I know it was a bit of a short review, but like I said, guys, this season, there isn't really a whole lot to discuss, non-spoiler-wise, that is really, you know, worth saying. But, you know, like I said, I will be doing a spoiler video, so if you have seen the season, check that out, because I'm going to be spoiling into everything. And I'll really, really discuss how I feel, guys. Really discuss how I feel. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, guys, like and subscribe, and peace out.